Hi guys, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be working with a 30 inch by 40 inch canvas. It is a gallery wrapped canvas, one and a half inch sides. I have my push pins on the back. I have taped my back edges off for a clean finish and we are going to be working on doing an open cup pour. I have more than enough paint here so it'll be great to have some leftovers for my next pour and go from there. I have sweater 2.0 on. I'm just gonna clip her over and we've put some piddle pads down on the dining room table because I don't want it to run off. And uh, yeah, so my base coat is a mix of a house paint that was kind of a beige that I painted my walls in the hallway. And this is four parts Floetrol to one part house paint. And then I put about, about six or seven ounces of Artist Loft uh, soft body white paint in there. Uh, this is Modern Masters Sapphire. It's a beautiful color. I have 24K gold, bright, uh, bright aqua green mixed with <clears throat> aqua flash by Color Art. Um, sorry, not Color Art. Um, I can't even, Color Shift. <clears throat> I have Golden's Payne's Gray. I have this little piggy pigment, waterfall, gorgeous color. I have nickel azo gold, and I'm still not sure if I'm gonna use it, but I kind of want to for a splash of bright color. And then I have color shift pearl white, I believe it is, but we will see how this all works out. Plenty of space to have some fun with paint. And we're gonna get going. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. And I'm just gonna move it around. I don't wanna coat the whole canvas yet. And do that. I don't know what that was, but it's not supposed to be there. So when using house paint, sometimes it can be hot mess. All right, that's that one. We'll see if there's any more in a few minutes. I see lots of air bubbles, but that's because I just mixed it all up. All right, so we're gonna put this right here. And we are gonna lead in, I think, with the... Uh, no, let's do this pearl white. I love open cup pours. Um, be sure to check out the glorious, huge uh, open cup pour. It was my first large canvas. I will link that below. I actually want to come in here. I'm going to put this around. I meant to seal the cup, but that's not a big deal. It wasn't moving. Because I want these paints to go under the base. Come in here and just do that because why not? And there it goes. Get 
gonna take some of the base also. Now we're gonna move this around. We're gonna end it, I think, right there. Move this one around and see what we have. You come in. Well, I'm not going to really do much. Just want to move. I love what's going on here. I think what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna fit this little pretty thing right in there. Paints gray, waterfall. bring this this way but first I'm going to So I'm going to tilt this this way and then to that corner so you guys might not see a little of the action here. Or maybe you will. Pardon the glare of the lights. And then I'll bring it 
back and off of over there. And I'll bring this back this way. bring it off this way. I just got some paint on there. All right, so we are going to let this one dry and then we're gonna add in some gold lines um, to break up the fluidness. So we will be back in another video. And go from there. Okay. The more I look at this, the more I don't like it. So we are gonna get a little wild and crazy and do some silly little things. And maybe it's just one of those days where I just have to throw paint on the canvas and make it work. So with that being said, we're gonna do this. <laughs> and then we are going to take a series of cups and layer them and just start pouring and stretching out. Get that out of the way. Or maybe we're just going to do a couple. A couple. And then some of the house paint. That might be what it is. It just needs to be an I don't care what you look like turnout type of day. And this one. And we're not even layering, kind of. We're just kind of pouring into the cup. I think this was gonna turn out a lot better. I know you're all probably not knowing where I'm going with this, but nothing wrong with that. I don't even know. We're just gonna see how it goes. And I did leave the nickel azo gold out. I don't know why, I just did. Mm 
Try to get something out of nothing. If you know what I mean. So we're going off that edge. We're going to come back to this corner over here. And then we're going to go this way. Doesn't always have to make sense, but I wasn't feeling it and I would have been really disappointed in myself if I let it go. So, I'm going to stretch it off this corner. Got paint on sweater. We're gonna come back this way. I apologize for the glare. I'm just gonna leave that right there. And then I'm actually gonna come over on this side, way over here. I'm gonna tilt it off this edge because I just mucked it all up with my sweater. We need to move the weight of the paint further down. Kind of looks like a geode. A little bit. All right. So do so we're gonna stop right there because honestly I like this a heck of a lot better than the last one so I'm going to come in with some of the house paint and fix up these areas here. Yep, I like that better. All right, guys, thanks for hanging in there with me. We'll show the dried results in an upcoming video. It's going to take a few days for this to dry, if not a week. Um, but you guys have been fabulous. Bye for now.